So let's give a proof that the regular heptagon, the regular poly polygon with seven, uh, seven vertices, is not constructible. So of course we are talking in the context of constructions with uh, straight edge and compass. So um, classical constructions of plane figures uh, of which we can prove or disprove the, the existence by means of Galois theory or field theory. So if I draw, I tried to draw an heptagon, uh, maybe it's not perfect, I drew it by, by hand. And of course, up to a rotation, I can take the, this vertex uh, here up to be on the right, as in this figure. And um, so suppose I start with the cost. Assume I have a constructible heptagon. Then, of course, the rotation is also a, is a constructible um, operation. I can pick the center of the heptagon by drawing these, uh, these segments. And I can construct uh, by constructing the rays and the circle of radius 1 with center in the center of the in the body center of the heptagon i can uh, then uh, intersect this circle with these uh, rays and obtain a new heptagon which is inscribed into a circle of radius 1 so here the first step the first observation of this is is the following if i start uh, with a constructible heptagon I can always reduce, say, in the complex plane, to have a, a regular heptagon inscribed in the circles of radius 1, in particular, so this vertex here would be 1, and then the other vertices, which I can call omega, and the successive powers of omega, in particular this will be omega minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, here omega squared, omega cube. So this will be a seventh uh, root of unity, this omega. So repeating this picture here in this uh, slide, we see that omega, I can of course write it as the exponential of e theta, where theta is this angle, so here theta is 2 pi over 7. And, um, okay, so if I can construct, therefore, this uh, vertex by projecting down onto the, onto the horizontal axis, I can uh, therefore construct this segment here which is obviously cosine of theta and if I take uh, so this point here is cosine of theta and if I sum these two vectors omega and omega minus one then of course geometrically I see I get this point here which is twice sine of theta. So this is equal to omega plus omega inverse. So uh, the basic observation here is therefore that if, um, if the regular heptagon is constructible, Then also this, uh, this uh, number, 2 times cosine of theta, is constructible. So our strategy would be to prove that this is not the case, that this uh, 
2 cosine of theta is not constructed. So in order to prove that mm, 2 cosine of theta is not a constructible number, we proceed uh, with the following steps. So my first claim is that this uh, number is a, uh, is a solution, is a root of the polynomial of the following polynomial given by f of x. So this cubic polynomial x cubed plus x squared minus 2x uh, minus 1. So why is that the case? Here we, we all know that the the sum of all the nth root of unit is always zero since the the omega the power of omegas uh, are we can think of them as the particles in the plane and the center of mass is zero so the sum of these omega powers is zero and um, so this number is, uh, which we have seen geometrically, is written as omega plus omega minus 1, satisfies the equation uh, given by, so if I take this polynomial alpha cubed plus alpha squared minus 2 times alpha minus 1, and if you substitute this, you find easily that this is precisely the sum of omega i, and therefore 0. So in this way, you see that 2 cosine of theta is a solution of this, uh, is a root of this polynomial, f. Then we can observe, as a second step, we observe that f is irreducible over the ratio. And this follows by, um, for example, showing that the polynomial g of x, which is the shift of x by 2, uh, you get, you can apply Eisenstein criterion. So this is irreducible by Eisenstein. with p uh, equals to 7, is what we get if you substitute this. So once we have these first two ingredients, these first two claims, we can proceed to the final step, which is to show that this alpha, this number, twice uh, cosine of theta, is not constructible, so in the sense Galois theory, constructible numbers with straight, ed straight edge and compass. So, how we prove this? We have our polynomial f, this cubic, and we pro proceed by contradiction by assuming the contrary, the, that is, that alpha is constructible. And so by the theory, we know that uh, alpha fits, so is, uh, lies in an extension at the end of a tower of extensions of degree 2. So we know that there is a tower of quadratic extensions. So the first field will be Q, K0, and then K1, and so on. And alpha lies in some extension, K, say, N, of Q. Here will be alpha. And this is, these are quadratic in the sense that successive degree 
is always 2. So here we can then apply the usual argument to see, so the usual argument I used in previous videos, to see that alpha actually lies, if it lies in kn, lies in kn minus 1, and therefore repeating this argument we get back to q. Why? Because, well, if alpha was in kn but not in kn minus 1, then we would have an intermediate extension and alpha would have to be an element of, of degree 2. And, but alpha, we know, is the root of this cubic polynomial, which is reducible over q. Therefore, we get, so to summarize this, we can say that f has a root alpha in kn, and therefore, but since uh, the degree of f is 3, and of course kn, the degree of kn minus over kn minus 1, this is 2, we apply the argument and we see that alpha lies in kn minus 1, and by repeating this a number of steps, we get that alpha is in Q. And of course, this is a contradiction. Since we proved that the polynomial F has uh, certainly no roots in Q being irreducible. And this concludes the proof.